25th. Uh, I have so many things to do this week, as always, but especially this week, I'm very excited because my exhibition opening is on Saturday 3rd. It's also New Moon. Oh! And I'm just so happy and so grateful and I'm so excited to get out of bed and do the things I have to do because I'm so passionate about all the things I, I have to do. And I don't know, I just thought I could bring you guys along. Today I'm going to go to the nursing home. I work there. I have been working there for the past two months and I work today and tomorrow and maybe I can bring you along with me just on the way so you can see the landscape but I don't think I'm allowed to film anything while I am there but even though that I have many projects going on at the moment I'm starting a podcast I have this opening um, on Saturday and I have I a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, I do have a YouTube channel, as you can see. But I have a YouTube video to, to edit and upload as soon as possible. But I also want to paint. That's the thing. I have been doing so many other projects, uh, side projects. But I really have to get back into painting. Because I'm a painter. Mom. So that's the main goal of this week, is to paint. I have already sketched a drawing that I really think it would be a nice painting. I have done a few sketches. First, I did this one. I really liked... Uh, yeah, it is based in a picture of me. Just like many of, of my, my paintings, it's... A picture of me because um, I am a free model I'm always available and I don't have to pay me so and then I had this one here and then I have this crazy <laughs> this crazy sketch here that I just love it so much I even post it on my on my Instagram account because why not so yeah maybe I'm going for this drawing here like a better version of course in a panel and yeah I can bring you guys along with me during the painting process and a little bit of vlogging yeah this is going to be a vlog slash painting process because we love painting process right so see you I just remembered that I have to work in the garden a little bit today so I don't think I will be able to do all the things I wanted I wanted to edit a video and paint it and paint but I don't think I will be able and that's a thing that it's uh, super hard about having another job is that your time is really limited and especially if you have Arthur that is here <laughs> crying because he really wants to go outside for a walk and uh, it's just all these obligations that we have oftentimes people say that oh if you want to do something just do something just do the thing just uh, you are the one holding holding you back or things like that but when you are trying out a career and it's not working like it is working but it's not you're not there so you still have other obligations because for example it's really different if you are a full-time artist and or for example you live with your parents and they pay your fucking bills you know what I mean? You don't have to pay rent, for example. Y even though you, you might help here and there at home, it's not like having your own home, having your own dog and 
having all these obligations that you have to do in order to still alive, like paying your rent and paying all the bills and buying food and cooking and cleaning the house. Everything is just so much... Everything is just so time-consuming. And I also have to go to work. So my days are... like I work eight hours per day and I still have to do many things in my business and I still have to do many things in my house and I still have to do many things with Arthur because he's so needy huh? <laughs> so I don't know I just I just wanted to, to say that like it's not easy you know when you have so many other things to do it's, it's not easy to pursue your dreams but I think that The secret is just not to worry about that that much and just uh, not enjoy the process. It's just accepting that your pace is not going to be as fast as someone who is doing only that because you have other things to do. Um, not that it's a competition because it's not. It's just Learning to be gentle to yourself and to your time. Is that something that I am trying to learn? It's uh, not to overwork myself because I do that a lot and I always burn out. I don't want to burn out. I want to keep <laughs> a certain level of uh, consistency in my in my life, in my work. And therefore, I can't. I can't afford a burnout right now. These vlogs are going to be just like a, a, a talk to myself. And yeah. So let's go to the garden. Let's work there. And just to be clear, like, I love working the garden. Also, I'm there. I am like, oh, I'm so glad I came. But I... I'm not going to work in the garden because I want to. I'm going to work in the garden because I have to. I have this agreement with my landlords that if my partner and I, we help out in the garden, we can pay a little bit less rent. So <laughs> I have to work in the garden. It's not something like, oh, it's my my free time. It's my hobby time. I am just having lots of fun. Like. I love working the garden on some there, but oftentimes I'm very resistant. Like, oh, I don't want to go because I just have so many things to do over, over here in the studio. But it's a lovely day, and I really have to work in the garden. So that's what we are going to do. As right you may now. see, there is lots of ivies here, uh, and I'm cleaning them.
<laughs> so I just came back home. I'm eating oats and almond yogurt, chia, peanut butter, banana. It's delicious. But I just want to show you. Look what I got. Yes. This whiteboard, it's going to be a painting hanging stuff. <laughs> so happy. I'm going, to, I'm going to have my breakfast now and then whew, I will get back to work. Um, maybe I will do some editing for like an hour just to see, just to figure out the videos and what I need to do. Then I will paint for, I will start a painting. to make in the mail. If it is what I think it is, I will be over the moon. really resistant um, let's see if they work so I have the sprints that I just ordered and I want to see if they fit in if they don't fit in I will have a problem but I measure and everything so it should be alright perfect Then I can see here.
today, <laughs> which it's very weird because usually I'm never sick, but I, I, I will not allow this sickness to take over my body. Just the thing that I decided. Also, I got my period today and I'm just feeling like, but it's okay. I finished this drawing today. I can't wait to paint it. Look how cute it looks. So yeah, I'm going to start this painting probably tomorrow because today I don't want to. Today I woke up extremely early. It was like six and I couldn't sleep until one. So I didn't get loads of sleep. Probably tonight I'm going to be so tired because I finished 11 in the night the nursing home my podcast my podcast is it's it's just so much work i already have a few interviews that are booked uh, and I'm, which i'm very excited for and i also oh i'm starting feeling better can you believe that it's the tea power for sure The sky is blue and I just want to stay outside playing with Arthur. Although I have so many things to do. I think that a good way to keep a balance in a beautiful day like that, like today, is to work a little bit in the studio, in my computer, and then going for walks. We're going to have many walks today, apparently, because Look at that, and it's not cold. I feel so peaceful and so grateful. Yesterday, I was feeling a little bit uh, anxious because the opening of my exhibition is this Saturday. It will be this Saturday. Um, it's April 30th, and I am very excited for that. It's my very first solo exhibition, and um, I don't know, I want to celebrate, but I will be working the nursing home on Saturday and on Sunday. So, and like Monday, Monday as well, and Friday. So I'm working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So I don't know if I'm going to have energy to celebrate. <laughs> But I think I do. I don't know what you guys think. Should I go and celebrate or should I stay home and just have a quiet dinner with my partner, maybe? Yeah. And Arthur, of course. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you.